Hi, it's Jana from Spiral Stabilization UK and welcome to this video about foundations and development of spiral stabilization method. Dr. Smyshek was born in Prague in 1954. Uh, now I'll skip to his uh, later years. And he graduated in 1979 from Charles University um, and he studied general medicine. Um, the gradual development of the method already started at 1969 when Dr. Smyshek was um, studying in gymnasium um, in secondary school and he was training in athletic decathlon so he was using he started using resistance bands um, for stretching for his strengthening and for uh, coordination movement in technical disciplines uh, later when he was studying at university and he was studying anatomy he started to realize the effects of using resistance bands um, on individual muscles and different muscle groups within the body. Here Dr. Smyshek discovered and understood um, that the activation of the abdominal wall and especially the oblique abdominal muscles are activated by the shoulder girdle. So the shoulder motion down and backwards, so shoulder motion down and back activates the scapula, the shoulder blade, and that across activates the abdominal wall, especially the oblique muscles. Um, and that's the main principle um, of spiral stabilization for in order to successfully treat and prevent spinal uh, disorders and back pain, we need a good activity within the abdominal wall. I will now show you how it looks in practice. Um, spiral stabilization is using uh, exercise scores for the exercises specially designed by Dr. Smyshek. Um, and I'll just demonstrate the motion of the shoulder blade that I talked about. So when, you, when you're performing uh, spiral stabilization exercises, you mainly want to um, engage the shoulder, shoulder blade, and you'll see how nicely it is drawing the it's drawing the abdominal wall inwards so if i go down and i relax and then i go up you see that the abdominal wall is going inwards with the exercise and each and every single exercise draws the waist in so narrowing of the waist creates um, tractioning force upwards and then this force creates a decompression of the intervertebral discs um, because the narrowing of the waist is pushing the spine upwards, stretching the spine upwards and decompresses the spine. So if, uh, if you uh, let me show you here on this spine, so um, usually we have a lumbar lordosis here, a certain muscle tightness within the body. Um, and when we strengthen the abdominal wall, it has this effect on the spine, all the segments here in the lumbar spine open. And then if there's any compression causing pain or any slip disc, disc herniation, this motion activity of the abdominal wall will naturally relax the tension and open the segments and relieve pressure on the intervertebral discs. I'll now go back to Dr. Smyshek and his studies. So after graduating and um, completing university, Dr. Smyshek started uh, practicing general medicine. Um, he uh, specialized in treating patients with chronic and acute pain in lumbar and cervical spine. Um, and then later also he, uh, he specialized in treating athletes. Um, um, he focused on their compensation training and prevention from uh, sports overload. Uh, during the years um, of 1981 and 1990, doctor treated 5,000 patients. And during this time he was, um, he was, uh, he was, trying various different therapeutic methods and processes and he was um, he was trying what was and what wasn't effective um, for the patient's treatment and during this time actually the the full spiral stabilization method was was formed 
You might wonder where the influence or inspiration for Dr. Smyshek came from. Uh, so the work of Professor Yanda and Professor Levitt opened also other doors to different study materials such as Kendall and Travel and Simons that Dr. Smyshek uh, used to inspire him to uh, create his own uh, spiral stabilization method uh, that now specializes in specific exercise and combination of um, exercise and manual therapy techniques. In 1990, Dr. Smyshek uh, decided to start his own private practice and the main, uh, main clientele or main patients that he was treating were patients with acute disc herniation um, who were looking for alternative treatments because at that time neurosurgical department's uh, capacity um, was very limited um, and patients were waiting even for months or years um, for back surgery. Uh, so Dr. Smyshek was very busy at that time treating many patients uh, with acute disc herniation and the treatment was so successful that the patients were able to get rid of pain within three to six days within three months they were able to go back to work and within six months they were able to start their favorite uh, activities um, or recreational sport Patients with um, sedentary job or patients who underwent surgery, um, not very active patients or um, elderly patients were all offered uh, group classes, exercise to music sessions uh, where they could exercise with the elastic cord and to maintain the results because often when patients stopped exercising the pain was coming back. So in order to maintain the results they were offered regular classes um, and especially for elderly clients they were very good to maintain or build uh, good coordination coordination of a movement um, and then stable gait and prevent falls this type of group therapy was especially popular in Germany um, because in early 90s, in 1992, Dr. Smyshek started cooperating with different uh, German sports organizations. Um, since then also the method was uh, certified and approved by uh, insurance companies um, and the method was um, included uh, within four out of five uh, German movement uh, programs for prevention. So since then until now uh, spiral stabilization is paid through medical insurance in Germany. At present the method uh, tr successfully treats and prevents as I already mentioned low back pain, uh, back pain, chronic pain uh, but also other conditions such as uh, scoliosis, lordosis, kyphosis, uh, neck pain, shoulder pain, uh, knee pain, hip pain, carpal tunnel, tennis elbow, um, flat feet, bunions and I could be naming more also migraines, headaches um, but main important thing is here that the method is non-invasive, it's non-surgical so it's trying to prevent surgery but if any patients underwent surgery um, and suffer from any complications afterwards um, then the treatment will help them to eliminate those complications, treat the complications. If also patients are um, waiting for hip or knee replacement surgery, uh, then uh, spiral stabilization exercises and therapy will help them to prepare them um, successfully for, for um, the surgery, uh, but also ensure sufficient uh, regeneration and rehabilitation program afterwards. Dr. Smyshek uh, is now expert in uh, myoskeletal internal and musculoskeletal medicine um, and he's treated over 20,000 patients. Uh, he's based at his Prague clinic. Um, part of his team are also his two daughters who are um, medical doctors and he's got a, tree, a team of um, medical professionals um, working with him at the clinic and providing uh, care and treatment for patients 
patients and also uh, training for therapists and, and other medical practitioners. And with his enthusiasm and passion, he travels around the world and trains, uh, trains people and shares, uh, shares his knowledge and expertise with others. Um, and that's why the method is very popular in uh, most European countries, of course, especially Czech Republic and Slovakia, um, and then also in China and South Korea. Now let's talk about who is spiral stabilization for. Um, so we already mentioned uh, adults and elderly patients. There is no really age limit. Uh, so children can already start exercising from the age of five. And it's often that uh, lots of patients with scoliosis um, are children. Um, when they send for um, spinal fusion, um, back surgery way too soon, when the surgery can be actually prevented um, and spiral stabilization is um, extremely effective for treating scoliosis with children so children or even if it's just uh, improving posture can start already at the age of five then adults then elderly patients the exercises are very safe because they can exercise um, in sitting or standing positions um, then uh, method is very suitable for athletes. Doctor used to specialize in treating athletes and he continues. So athletes can benefit from um, compensation training for um, faster recovery after sports and also for compensating the overload from, from sports. Um, exercises are also very, very suitable for pregnant women. Um, the program is brilliant for um, treatment or actually exercise during, before and also after pregnancy. The exercises help with easier labor and then with faster recovery after pregnancy. Uh, there are not really any contraindications um, uh, but you should always uh, discuss everything with your with your medical practitioner. So why are we suffering from back pain? Um, we are just too sedentary. Uh, unfortunately, especially these days, we just sit sit too much and it doesn't matter if you are an athlete or if you are a very active person doing sports. Um, we all have muscles within the body that just have tendency to be tight and certain muscles to be weak. So Dr. Smishek divided those muscle connections into two separate groups. Um, one group that um, one group is called vertical muscle chains and the other group is called spiral muscle chains. And then the tightness and weakness within the body is creating muscle imbalance and because um, there is this imbalance within the body, the body doesn't move well and it doesn't move correctly and as it should be. So if you just simply go for a walk with every single step you take, you're causing more compression to your joints, to your spine and then causing further spine degeneration. So those two groups that Dr. Smishek explained are vertical chains and those are muscles that are very tight within the body. They have tendency uh, for tightness and it's muscles along the spine and then also hip flexors, muscles here at the front of the hip and then they continue um, into, into the legs. So these muscles when they are very tight and you know when something is very tight it will be causing compression. So with the tightness here here and then the tightness along the spine that will cause compression especially here in the lumbar spine and then if there's too much tightness that we usually all have from sitting down too much tightness here every single step you take you are causing yourself more compression within the lumbar spine we talked about I talked about it earlier things such as chronic low back pain or um, acute disc herniation can be just simply caused by muscle imbalance within the body. So in order to reverse that compression within the spine or within the joints, we need to strengthen um, weakness within spiral chains. So these, uh, these were vertical chains that are very tight and cause compression. And then muscles uh, that 
are part of the spiral system. Uh, muscles here between the between the shoulder blades. So we said I said earlier that you need to engage the shoulder in order to engage the shoulder blade to then engage the external internal oblique muscles. So um, spiral uh, muscles that are weak are abdominal wall muscles between shoulder blades and and here gluteus maximus so spiral stabilization exercises will strengthen the weakness within the spiral chains and stretch the tightness within the vertical chains and then the strengthening of the weakness i already talked about before will create a natural traction of the spine decompress the spine and regenerate the intervertebral discs and then the spinal traction is not happening just within the spine in the lumbar it's uh, happening within within the um, entire spine so that's how each exercise will uh, stretch tightness strengthen the weakness and the side effect is spinal traction and decompression also if there's any curvature then it will centralize the spine and then also spirally stabilize the trunk so we're creating here muscle cores that that will stabilize the whole body and that's why spiral stabilization is called spiral stabilization because we spirally stabilizing um, the body here and I think it's very important to mention here why is um, Dr. Smishek's method so different from other approaches. And it's because by eliminating the muscle imbalance in the body, the method is addressing the actual cause of the problem. So not, for example, like surgery or medication that will treat the symptoms of the patient's condition. Spiral stabilization method will eliminate the cause of uh, the patient's condition. And I can give you an example of a very su successful treatment um, of one of Dr. Smishek's patients, and it's actually my mum. Uh, she's now 67, she lives in the Czech Republic, uh, but her entire life she suffered from um, excruciating back pain because she's got uh, scoliosis of the spine, very severe scoliosis, which is a sideways curvature of the spine. Um, and she was off work um, for about 22 years on disability benefits. Um, she suffered with excruciating pain. She had to lie down every single hour if she was uh, sitting for too long or she couldn't even uh, walk for a long distance. She couldn't go to theatre, cinema or travel um, because of how much pain she was in. Um, she also had um, difficulty breathing because her lung capacity is limited. Um, but after discovering uh, Dr. Smishek's method, she went to see him at his clinic in Prague. Um, and within four days of uh, treatment, she's seen incredible, um, incredible results. Um, I mean, she didn't have lower back pain anymore after 20 years, after a few days of treatment. Um, and she started exercising regularly and she's seen phenomenal results. She's now uh, completely pain-free as long as she's exercising. Uh, she is now working full-time for the last 10 years as a spiral stabilization therapist in the Czech Republic. Um, and she can walk uh, for long distance, she can do hikes, she can, uh, she can travel, not at the moment, but when it's possible she loves traveling she can go to theater she can she can do what she what she likes things that she couldn't do before her breathing improved um, and she I think she'll be forever thankful and grateful to Dr. Smishek that he greatly greatly improved uh, quality of her life by now you're probably wondering how long you would need to perform the exercises for so it's recommended to perform spiral stabilization exercises at home daily for about 10 to 15 minutes so once or twice a day but of course each individual is different so you might be recommended by a therapist uh, to do the exercises more often um, in order to see the benefits and results you will need spiral stabilization exercise cord that uh, can be at home attached to a banister leg of a table uh, 
door handle, window handle, just something, uh, something solid. Um, if you had any further questions about something that I haven't mentioned in this video, please do not hesitate to get in touch with me. You can head to my website or my social media. Um, and if you want to find the website, then uh, head to spiralstabilization.co.uk. Thank you very much for watching and I hope I'll see you online soon again. Bye!